Alright, so today is the day where we finally talk about the Samsung Galaxy S21 series and we now get the full specs and the pricing details for these devices. And besides that, the overpriced AirPods Pro Max is now available for pre-orders in Malaysia. So to find out more about these devices, remember to keep watching. The Samsung Galaxy S21 is here and this time, just like its predecessor, there's three devices. So there's the Samsung Galaxy S21, the S21 Plus and also the S21 Ultra. Okay, so I'm going to talk about them one by one and we will start off with the big boy which is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This smartphone features a 6.8 inch display and what's improved is that it now can do adaptive 120Hz refresh rate at Quad HD Plus resolution. Besides that, this device is powered by the Exynos 2100 processor with up to 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage. Keeping the lights on is a 5000mAh battery with support for 25W fast wire charging. But one of the more interesting thing about this smartphone is that it now supports S Pen just like the Note series. But there is a catch, you have to buy it separately. Alright, so now moving down the notch, we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the S21 Plus. For these devices, you'll be getting the same processor as the S21 Ultra, but there is only 8GB of RAM. On the S21, there's a 6.2-inch Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display, while the S21 Plus features a 6.7-inch Full HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED 2X display. Keeping the S21 power is a 4000mAh battery which is the same capacity as the one on the S20. But the S21 Plus has a larger battery capacity at 4800mAh. Alright, so now let's talk about the price. So the Samsung Galaxy S21 is priced at 3699 ringgit, while the S21 Plus is priced at 4299 ringgit. The S21 Ultra on the other hand that comes with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage is priced at 5299 ringgit. while the higher spec model that comes with 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage is priced at 5899 ringgit. Pre-orders are now available and you can secure your unit now online. For the Galaxy S21 and the S21 Plus, you will receive a free Galaxy Buds Live and Galaxy Smart Tag. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S21 Ultra is bundled with a free Galaxy Buds Pro and Galaxy Smart Tag. We also have an extra offer for you if you are going to get the S21. You can get an additional Samsung ANC Type-C earphones for free when you pre-order with the promo code SCS21VIP via the Samsung online store. Alright, so now we know the price and the specs of these smartphones, so let's ask Rory what he thinks about this smartphone because he has the first hands-on on these devices. So let's go! You went to the NDA event, right? Yes. Okay, so what do you think of the phone, the S21 series? The S21 series is... If you ask me, it's more like a, a chance for them to refine, to like, you know, refresh the smartphone to try and fix all the things that they, they, they maybe got wrong with the S20 series. Um, which, you know, there was a lot of things that got wrong with the S20 series. So it was a chance to fix that with the S21. So you got like, you know, the new Exynos processor. Hopefully it's not laggy anymore. It's not like Xenos anymore. Uh, and then you've got this new design, which is iconic. Uh, whether you like it or not, it's up to you. But I will say that it looks better in person for sure. Uh, compared to like in photos. In photos, it looks kind of like eh. And this black, you know, they spent like, they spent like half an hour Okay, not half an hour, but they spent a really long time talking about black, you know. They were like, oh, the glass, in order to get this colour, we had to like go through how many thousand processors. And then at the end of the day, we found out less is more. We found that less is more. If you want, if you want to know that, right, just ask me, I can tell you less is more. People tell me that all the time also. So what do you think about the price? So is it too expensive? Is it... Okay. So this year they did the interesting thing, the, the interesting thing where they got rid of the charging brick. Uh, so I was like hoping, okay, maybe the price will maintain at worst, or like maybe if we're lucky, we'll see like a you know price drop. But we got none of that. Uh, instead, it's more expensive this time. So like the base model is what three six nine nine. Um, but I guess the good thing is that now you don't have, you're not forced to buy an S21 Ultra with 128 gigs of storage, which is really dumb. Uh, you get 256 as base and then there's also a 512 version, so if you want the Ultra experience. You have the Ultra experience, like it's finally, you know, Ultra, not 128 gig. 
Okay, so if someone owns the S10 or the S20, do you think they should have? Mm, I think if you're on the S20, like any of the S20 series, and you want to upgrade to like the same series in the S21, I don't think it's worth it. Like I don't see like a huge difference unless you're like on the Ultra and you want to go to this Ultra because of the S Pen, which I don't think is worth it. <laughs> Uh, because separate accessory um, then maybe you might want to consider that but like at the same time why wouldn't you just get like a note 20 ultra you know so i think if you're on the s20 i don't think it's worth upgrading but if you're from the s10 i think yeah it's it's like generational enough that you can definitely consider getting this so if someone wants to get the s21 series right which one do you think they should get like, among the three devices i know which one you shouldn't get don't get the base model S21 because uh, I don't think like that was really disappointing to me. Maybe it doesn't matter to you because you use a case. Um, it's just like oh, got case, okay lah. But I think yeah, if if that's the case, then maybe the base model is okay because you get 6.2 inches, which is a pretty good size. Uh, and then uh, now base storage is all 256 gig, so that's pretty that's pretty nice. I think 256 is more than enough. So the S20 FE mm -hmm. or the one that you. Mm -hmm. S21 or S20 FE uh, So what, the price difference is like 300 ringgit, is it? Okay, having not tried the processor I don't know what the, S the, the Exynos 2100 can do Very hard to recommend lah, but I think you should be safer to go with the 21 The base model 21 Because they're both glass thick But for some reason, I feel like the S20 FE is glass thick feels nicer Maybe it's the treatment, it doesn't feel so plastic um, but yeah, I think as far as specs, on paper specs go lah, the 21 makes more sense. But practical use cannot say yet. If you're looking for a small and compact charger for USB-C devices, the Ugreen 65W gun charger is something you should consider. Not only it is small in size, it also features two USB-C ports that allows you to charge both your smartphone and laptop simultaneously. The charger is currently offered for 99 ringgit and 99 cents on the official Ugreen store on Lazada and Shopee. If you use the Shopee and Lazada mobile app, you'll redeem the 8% off voucher which brings the price down to 91 ringgit and 99 cents. Less cheaper than Apple's single port 20 watt charger. The charger uses USB power delivery standard which enables fast charging for most smartphones and tablets from Apple and Samsung. The first port pushes a maximum of 18 watt while the secondary port maxes out at 65 watt. Since we are currently under MCO, it is best that we stay home at all times. So Astro has recently taken the opportunity to offer complimentary access to the kids packs and news channels to keep its customers entertained and informed. Astro customers can also enjoy the complimentary channels on Astro Go. The kids packs should help keep children entertained and busy once they are done with remote learning. This definitely will become a welcome relief for parents as they attempt to get as much work done from their current work from home arrangements. According to Astro, the package includes access to popular kids' channels such as Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr. and Boomerang. The wait is finally over guys, you can now place your order if you are planning to get the really expensive AirPods Pro Max. These are Apple's new over-ear headphones that offer up to 20 hours of music playback with active noise cancellation enabled. The AirPods Pro Max officially retails for 2,389 ringgit in Malaysia and it comes in 5 different colours. At the time being, the space grey and silver options are listed with an estimated shipping time of 7 to 8 weeks, while the other colourful options can take up to 10 weeks to ship. If you want to personalise your AirPods Pro Max with engraving, Apple can also do that for free on the online store. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon so you can stay updated to our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!